From Judah, he said, will come the cornerstone from him, the temple. You will need the temple to keep things together, as I told you. Because as prophetic people, you need to know how to praise and how to be able to clap. You understand? To put that pen in the ground, to hook it, so that when the wind and the storm of life comes, that your tent will not go down. Are you there with me? Yes. That when you pitch that tent, that when the wind is blowing, and when the enemy is seeking to blow the dust on you, the tempest wind, you will be able to be strong and be kept together. Are you there? And he said, from him, the path of gold. In the midst of the evils, you will be able to have a goal. And a prophetic goal. That when you, you know, target this thing, you will be able to aim at the target and hit it straight on. You will not miss destiny in this season. Somebody say, I will not miss destiny. I will not miss destiny. My arrow, My arrow will, hit straight on. will hit straight on. You don't believe that? I believe. But I tell you, you must overcome and take the bow and let things straight on. <laughs> yeah. You don't miss. You must not miss your target in the season. Don't let things distract you. Don't let things easily beset you. Hit your target. From him shall come every ruler. I don't just like the word ruler. There is the word leader. You shall lead. And this is don't let the devil stop you from being a leader. From you being that courageous leader. Lead in your generation. No matter what, lead. No matter what, be a leader in your generation. Don't be part of the norm. Don't be the one to just stand away. Please be a leader. I thought of it. I went with that. Even time. if it is good that there are people praying, Amen. there are people helping you, yes. there are people who are strengthening you. Yes. Because sometimes the burden is so much. By the demon. Demonic things are released in hell. You think the devil will let you go? When you can see the secrets of a nation, to see what is happening, where demonic spirits, you are seeing how, how many accidents will happen, you are seeing this is going to happen, you are seeing that they are going to make blood sacrifice, and that you see, did you not see, did the prophecy not come to pass? Yes. Yes. Did you not see the accidents? Yes. Did you not see what I said? Yes. He does not like it. You are trying to deal with the political divide in the land. You are trying to be a boy. But sometimes you never recognize that you will have so much to fight. When God called you, I said, God, I never wanted to be a pastor. I tell Bishop Macfarlane, I don't want to be a pastor because of what he went through. Today, I am a pastor. I felt it was a curse to be a pastor. Because when you have to deal with human beings, and none of you sometimes don't want, most of you want to run away from the ministry. We don't have many people going into pastoring anymore. They don't think that it is the most admirable thing. It takes God, it takes courage, and sometimes it's not you keeping yourself, it is just God keeping you. Because if you had to do something, you would go into business and do something else. Because sometimes now you are something you are good to build, the next day. 
This is how life is. You know, you are prophesying to somebody, and the same person you are prophesying to, you understand, have used the prophecy against you. If you don't have courage as a prophet, you will not even prophesy to people. Okay. And the Lord has told me many times to not be afraid of their faces. I don't even know. When I prophesy to people, and if I, they would, sometimes the devil will use them to resist the prophecy. And as they try to resist the prophecy, I will try to encourage them to fulfill the, the, the prophecy that they could walk according to the prophecy. Just a few weeks ago, I saw that. Until the prophecy came. And they knew I came rejoicing. I did that contrary to it. So you get blown. Sometimes they tell you the sheep itself will put you. So these things are not easy. People, it is war, war, war. And you have to war according to what God has revealed to you. Don't let nobody take you in another direction. Stay on track. Do not disqualify yourself. No matter what people say, nobody should disqualify you from the race. Go on. Stand and fight. Sometimes you may want to do a two things, but do you really have the liberty to do it? There's a question. Amen. Amen of God. We do not have all the liberty that the world has. It's true. We do not have the liberty to just speak anything, say anything, do anything. Amen. I love the fact that God is God. Amen. And He looks at all our hearts. But if God will not judge, I don't think any one of us will make it. Because our mouth will destroy. You know, Paul said something. He said, Brethren, do not destroy each other by the words of your mouth. He said, Do not destroy each other by the words of your mouth. Don't go destroy. <laughs> and so, Brethren, I'm saying, the Bible said, When we were born again, what happened? We were born anew. And what happened? Our conversation changed. And we cannot speak like those who are in darkness. As a prophetic people, as Psalms 2 said, why do they hear me? What do or what should we have in our mouth? Huh? No, read it. Read it. What should be on your tongue? Praise. Why do the hidden rate and the people in the great things? Go on. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against the Lord. And what else? Let us break the bands of sun and cast away the cords from us. Go on. He that sit up in heaven shall laugh, and the Lord shall have them in derision. Go on. Then shall he speak unto them in Israel, and vex them in sour displeasure. Go on. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill. Hmm? Now, you know what happened? Do you know what the, you should have in your mouth? Praise. Two heads so a two heads so we should be building each other, praising each other. Our life is there to complement each other, not to feed upon each other weaknesses and zero on each other's weaknesses. Let us come together, Amen. children of God. The Lord wants us, as a people, I say, let us work together. Let us praise each other. Let us complement each other.